Given a group motion clip consisting of multiple two-dimensional trajectories, we construct a graph structure by sampling the trajectories at regular intervals to create a set of vertices. Pinning or dragging each vertex towards its desired location deforms the entire graph simultaneously to satisfy the specified constraints while maintaining as much as possible the neighborhood formation and the local movement of every vertex. In this example, the formation and motion are maintained independently so that each trajectory can be minimally deviated from its original trajectory while preserving its relative formation. Each animated character follows its eventual trajectory, more clearly demonstrating that the neighborhood formation is preserved without respect to the moving direction. We also provide users with an additional editing operation of concatenating any two group motions having the same number of individuals into a single longer group motion. Similarly to the deforming operation, the concatenated motion preserves the formations, trajectories, and their relative relationships from both of the original motions. Deforming a group motion can increase or decrease the lengths of original trajectories. Just using the original time intervals in such a graph makes animated characters to move at arbitrarily faster or slower speeds than their original speed. Because we believe that such a change in speed is not so desirable in motion editing, our system modifies the time intervals so that the characters in an edited motion can move the scale distances as much as possible at their original speed. We demonstrate the usefulness and flexibility of our approach with two representative applications. In the first one, we constructed a large-scale graph consisting of 500 vertices, which is represented by the blue line. Given a new road, we first fit the original graph approximately to the center line of the road. The entire graph is incrementally flattened into a straight path by translating and rotating the green colored vertices. After achieving the approximate modification, we split the original group into two separate groups. Each new group is again deformed in detail to fit into its desired path by using the same interface. This video shows the final version of the edited motion clip, which is animated with full body characters and fully rendered with three-dimensional details. This next example demonstrates that our editing approach can also be used to author large-scale crowd animation clips in non-trivial environments by duplicating, deforming, and concatenating just a few short motion clips. In this 30 second video, approximately 300 characters densely navigate within the cluttered small virtual town divided into several groups. 